two of Random Dude's Workshop, Square Drop Trailer Build. You can see our frame still in the same location. So today what we're going to be trying to do is get the tongue welded for the trailer. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. So in order to do that, we're going to use our trailer hitch and it is a weld on Ram 5K. And I'll show you that here in just a minute. First, I'll go through, show you what the exact plan is on the paper. And then after that, we'll move forward with some close up shots. Thanks for joining us. All right, so today we're gonna be taking our trailer hitch, like so. This says it's a 50 degree. And we'll be putting our Now, mind you, this isn't to scale. Putting it in like so. Now, according to trailer manufacturers, between the frame and the mount point of your hitch, you want it to be 36 inches. This 50 degrees here, down to the frame. If we have enough, we're gonna weld underneath to the next support. We should be just barely there. However, if that doesn't work out, we're gonna weld here and then reinforce the corners. So we'll see how this goes exactly. Um, yeah, first steps first. Let's get this, get the powder coating off of it so we can cleanly weld our two by two square tubing. So just a little on the inside. Okay, so what we have here, we have our two pieces. We have our hitch here. So this is set at 50 degrees or so they tell me. What we're gonna do is just a quick mock up here to see where all our weld points will be. So, bear with me here. I did not prepare. That's my bad. So, as we can see, that's obviously not... That's obviously not 36 inches. Um, so what I'll do is I'll pull it up to where it looks about 36. You can see we're probably not even close. That's probably about two feet right there. That's probably more like 36. Grab my measuring tape. So, from the center of the hitch, we can come back just a little bit. So that's about 36 right there. See, we're a little short to make that work underneath for a full connection. Obviously, it's not square either, but I'm not sure that would matter a whole lot. So our plan is going to have to be to mount it to the front of this trailer right here. Or, no, there's no way I could... Or it could scoot it back and have it be a little short. If I go right about there. But the rule of thumb is generally to have it 36 inches. That way you have plenty of clearance. Right there, that puts us at 31, maybe 30. Um, which I could probably pick up be pretty close if I move those back a little bit more so maybe I'll just move these back an additional three inches because the idea is for these to take I mean this whole thing is designed for 5,000 pounds whether or not this is welded to the front 
and there shouldn't be a whole lot of weight that I should have to worry about. Three inches shouldn't change anything too much. So, but note that my personal preference would be welded up here, but to get additional length, I think that this will be the, uh, the way to do it. So let's do it. So, got our tacks all in place, holding everything right where we want it. Next step is to go through, finish up all the welding on the frame. So since we flipped it from the last video, we're going to finish up welding on the frame to tongue, and finally on the tongue itself, slash hitch. So, stick with us, here we go.